come here to the Hong Kong protest and ask my fellow Ricky. Ricky, yeah. some questions. Sure. What is your goal and what message is trying to be transmitted? Oh, well, um, yeah, I, I Our goal is actually to really uh, um, urge the government to give us a real elections, not the one that is pre-elected and then we elect whatever they elected afterwards. The second part, what message is trying to be transmitted to the government? Oh, okay. I think, uh, I think the message we, we all try to transmit to the government is that we really treasure the freedom of elections. And although we don't have it in the past 17 years, but we have been waiting for this 30 years. The message is we really need to go to have a real elections to be able to elect our leaders. Although we not elect the perfect person, but at least we have a, we have a check and balance system to monitor our government. Because you see right now, we have no no way to monitor them almost, and uh, they they can uh, because they're not they're not that they're, they're not responsible with, to us because they're just responsible to the Beijing. Okay, thank you. Um, what is your take on the violence Chinese government? Well, um, you mean for for them to use the violence? Yeah. Well, I think in the whole goal of this movement is non-violent. And honestly, this is the greatest weapon that we have because we cannot get more violence than them because they, they have more weapons than we do. But for them to use violence, it's actually exposed the way how they want to end this. But violence in the past few days already show us that it just actually pulls more people out for non-violence. So I think for them to go to this mode of violence is a uh, counteraction. It just caused a lot of people that don't even want to come out, uh, come out. Well, I mean, I have worked, you have to understand, Hong Kong people are incredibly busy. And for us to invest this amount of time into here is incredible. Like, money is very important in Hong Kong. Yes, it is. Honestly, I tell you. Okay, I make a lot, a lot less money, but this is a good investment. How long are you playing this game? Um, honestly, for me, I think I'll stay until the end. I may not come almost every day, but I come pretty much whenever I can. This is my fourth night sleeping here. Uh, in the last last 90 days, I think I, I come almost like 10 to 12 days already. Right. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. And you mentioned that you will stay here to the end. What is this end? I think the end is um, well. That's well. I think. If honestly, if, this, if the Chinese government drag out soldiers to come out, or well, we'll just leave here, but we'll just gather in some 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 other part. And the, it's like this: the more they crack down, the more we spread out. And uh, so I think the end is is really the end. May be a very long time because they may not respond to what we got, what we want. Um, I think it's, the end is when we go to the end of what we fight for. Not necessarily staying on the street, sleeping on the street, things like that. And, uh, but, you know, it's in a time of war. It's a lot, and, uh, and honestly, there's a lot of people think this is stupid. A lot of my friends say it's, it's, uh, it's a waste of time. Uh, but you know, there's, there's a lot of stupid things to do, like eating every day. Because why you eat? Most of the stuff, you know, you end up in the bathroom. Okay? So I think the end really means it's, it's, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. The problem. Hope it helped you. Yeah.